Lucas McNaughton, the 28-year-old Canadian centre-back, is now joining Nashville SC as he has been traded on trade deadline from Toronto SC to Nashville SC in a brilliant move at trade deadline between the two clubs, which sees Nashville SC address a position which has a much lack in depth. Of course, at centre-back, which has been a position that Nashville has really been needing to address and they have done it here on trade deadline in a fantastic way. Bringing in Lucas McNaughton, is a huge addition which is going to massively bolster this squad in a whole and this is a move that will probably be going massively under the radar and will probably split the fan base in a whole in general but this is a great move and I'm definitely going to dive into this one and as I'm very excited to really dive into and explain the role that Lucas McNaughton will be playing within this Nashville SC squad the minutes he may be getting the way he might be placed within the center back depth chart and of course looking at the trade details and Lucas McNaughton's strengths and of course some of his weaknesses as well. This is a great move for Nashville SC and Toronto FC, and we are going to dive straight into the trade details between the two clubs. As of course, Nashville SC has acquired Lucas McNaughton through trading CJ Sapong, the 34-year-old forward and striker, to Toronto FC. And I know that one has massively split the fan base in Nashville, but overall, I think this is a very good move. Getting out a striker that has been not really scoring or producing at the top level. I understand that he doesn't always just bring goals. He adds to the entirety of the play and was really the best striker forward in Nashville. But bringing in a center back like Lucas McNaughton and this kind of money is a fantastic move. As Nashville SC has sent out CJ Sapong to Toronto FC, but they have acquired Lucas McNaughton, the Canamati center back in the 28 year old, who did feature in the Canadian men's national team squad back before the World Cup when they did face Bahrain. And this is a huge move bringing in Lucas McNaughton, addressing a major position of need and center back, where they are going to be missing center backs for quite some time, which we will dive into just shortly soon in the video. But adding Lucas McNaughton, as well as $125,000 in 2024 general allocation money, as well as additional $75,000 in conditional 2025 general allocation money. And that conditional is if certain incentives and bonuses are met through CJ Sapong's time at Toronto FC. So it could happen and it could add up. And this is a generally amazing move from Nashville Soccer Club. And I have loved what they have done within this trade. Not just from a Canadian point of view, but what Nashville have done to bolster their squad as a whole. As we all know, the Gold Cup will be coming very soon, in which we will see the U.S. Mentee star center back in Walker Zimmerman heading off to the team, which they will be without Walker Zimmerman for some time, and that is going to be a massive loss. But having Lucas McNaughton to just seamlessly step into his shoes is a huge boost for Lucas McNaughton and, of course, his Nashville SC squad, because Lucas McNaughton can seamlessly step into the boots of Walker Zimmerman. Yes, of course, he's not going to be anywhere near how good Walker Zimmerman as is, as of course Walker Zimmerman is a top center back on the USMNT. But Lucas McNaughton is still a very good center back and has the same attributes and qualities that Walker Zimmerman does bring to his side week in and week out. But looking at what Lucas McNaughton will bring you and his true strengths are very exciting and I would love to address this massively because it is very exciting what Lucas McNaughton does bring to a footballing side. Looking at what he truly brings as his massive strength, which is his aerial duels. He is brilliant aerially and winning the ball, whether it's a set piece, a corner, on a cross. Lucas McNaughton is brilliantly in the air and he's a very exciting player at winning the ball up high as he does sit at 188 centimeters, 6 foot 1. He is a decently tall center back, nothing nothing fantastic, nothing extreme, but he is six foot one, a very exciting center back. And when he can win so many aerial duels in a league like the MLS where you're having balls swung into the box, set pieces are always very key, coming into a side like Nashville SC who have conceded the least amount of goals in the MLS season at five. Lucas McNaughton's ability aerially is massive and it is a huge threat as well because that is of course something that Walker Zimmerman has in abundance. His aerial presence is of course very massive to that Nashville SC back line and Lucas McNaughton will bring that as well. Maybe not to the exact same extent, of course, because Walker Zimmerman, of course, is a top, top center back, but he will bring it to a very high level. And another strength that Lucas McNaughton does have to an abundance is his passing ability. 
He is very exciting at playing the ball with his feet, and he is very accurate as well, as Lucas McNaughton does usually have around 42.7 touches per the 90, with Toronto FC this season having an accurate per game passing of 33.3, which puts him at 93% accuracy with his passing ability. From his own half, he does have 27.7 passes, which puts him at 95% accuracy, and in the opponent's half of 5.7, which is at 85%. He's very accurate when playing the ball from his feet, which is a very exciting attribute to have. It's a huge strength to be able to play the ball out of the back and be able to be confident on the ball as well, which is something that Lucas McNaughton very much does have in his locker and it's a great ability to have and to bring on and to know your center back is very calm and composed on the ball. Those are two of Lucas McNaughton's massive strengths and what he can bring to your footballing side. And it's something I think is going to be very exciting for Nashville SC to see from Lucas McNaughton and as a third or second option as a center back. But looking at where Lucas McNaughton might just fit in the center back depth chart for Nashville SC is going to be a very interesting one. Because of course, Nashville SC loves to line up in that 4 triple 2 or 4 2 3 1 formation. Or they have a very strong spine down the middle and defensive structure, where of course we do know that Gary Smith's side very rarely concedes goals and are very strong defensively, as they are the best defensive side this year in Major League Soccer. Looking at their back line right now and their center back structure, of course Walker Zimmerman is by far their number one center back. There is definitely no disputing that. The captain, a star in the US Mint, he arguably their best or one of their best center backs behind Tim Ream. And just behind that, you have the 23-year-old American in Jack Maher. Of course, has been very good this season playing alongside Walker Zimmerman. But we all know there has been that now injury to Nick DePew. So that is a huge loss, who is of course their third string center back. Where now Lucas McNaughton comes in seamlessly as their number three. But behind him, there's not a heck of a lot of competition. So Lucas McNaughton is easily the number three center back with that huge injury to Nick DePew. As right now, it is very uncertain on how long his injury could be as Nick DePew's injury is currently right now, his return is really not known. So it's going to be a very interesting time to see how good Lucas McNaughton can perform when given the chance for Nashville C. Currently out that Achilles tendon injury and he will be having surgery on that. So it's going to be very interesting to see when Nick DePew's timeline on him coming back will be. But, as well as Walker Zimmerman, we all know he's the number one center back, probably one of the best center back, if not the best, in Major League Soccer. He is also going away to the Gold Cup coming up. And that is going to be a huge loss for Nashville, where they will now be down to two center backs in Jack Mahar and Lucas McNaughton. Unless things change and Lucas McNaughton could get a sudden call up to the Kahneman tee, that could be a huge blow for Nashville. But, like I said, Lucas McNaughton is a seamless, seamless replacement for Walker Zimmerman, who will be going to the Gold Cup for USMNT. And this is a great trade. Like I said, guys, the fact that Walker Zimmerman will be leaving, you got Lucas McNaughton to seamlessly come in. Nick DePew is out with an injury right now. Lucas McNaughton comes in for him. And he's a great ro- a rotational option. He can give the likes of Jack Maher some rest. He can give Walker Zimmerman finally some much needed rest if he needs it. And he's a great option off the bench as well if there is another injury. And it's a much needed addition. Lack of depth in the center back. A much needed player to come in. And a player who, yes, he didn't play for the Canamint. He had any extensive level or anything like that but he was involved in the Canadian men's national team camp so it does bring that level of experience that level of maturity and if you want to look at I know a lot of national fans might not know the path Lucas McNaughton has been on recently recent years to get him to where he is now at Nashville it is a monumental journey he's taken and that builds up character it builds up leadership it builds up everything within Lucas McNaughton and his footballing ability and shows what he is about because Lucas McNaughton has come from the CPL the Canadian Premier League of Pacific FC winning the championship taking that jump up to Toronto FC playing brilliantly last year with Toronto FC and now earning this move to Nashville yes it may not look like he's earning this move it could have been the CJ Sapong led the way for Lucas McNaughton to go here but either way a brilliant move from Nashville SC who I think have massively won this trade bringing in a Kahneman T center back a center back who could bring the break in through the Canadian men's national team pool even more so soon enough 
and this is a brilliant trade for Nashville SC. Let me know what you guys think down below about Lucas McNaughton joining Nashville SC and how he truly fits in to Nashville squad and let me know what you guys think down below about this trade and who truly won this deal for you guys and how he might fit in to Nashville in your opinion. Drop a comment down below, hit that like button and drop a sub guys. I hope you guys are enjoying the long term content videos the bigger picture videos because that is definitely what i'm going to view to a bit more on this channel with a bit more editing like you guys can see we also have a charles andreas brim video coming out within the next day or so as well looking at why he is ready for spotter rotterdam let me know what you guys think down below in the comments hit that sub button drop a like and i'll see you for the next one peace